It's the end of a two-year mask mandate on all public transportation. A federal judge in Florida striking down the Biden administration's rules yesterday, and within hours, most airlines had already changed their rules. Ezzy Castro is live at Orlando International Airport. And Ezzy, the White House has not said whether it will fight the ruling. No, all they would say is that this is, quote, a disappointed decision. But that is not the case for a lot of passengers here. They can finally put these away if they want to when it comes to traveling. It's the news many have been waiting for. Face masks are now optional for public transportation. The announcement came after a federal judge in Florida struck down the government's transportation mask mandate, saying the CDC failed to justify its decision and did not follow proper rulemaking. Here you can see a Southwest flight attendant walking down the aisle collecting passenger space masks after learning about the new rule. Most major airlines like JetBlue and United also followed suit. It has created nothing but chaos. We all love our jobs and we no longer love our jobs. It's been very difficult these last couple of years. The mask mandate was actually set to expire yesterday, but the CDC extended it to May 3rd after an uptick in COVID-19 cases. The White House says it was disappointed by the decision, but hasn't said if there will be an appeal. This is obviously a disappointing decision. The CDC continues recommending wearing a mask in public transit. So we spoke to a couple of passengers here last night. Some say the new rule is a good thing. Others say that they're going to keep wearing their masks regardless. Now, Governor Ron DeSantis is praising the judge's decision. We're going to have more on that coming up at 630. For now, live at OIA, Ezzy Castro getting results. He's six. Thank you, Ezzy.